Whether you're an amazing shooter or an amazing builder, there's always going to be a fan favorite category. Once upon a time, Fortnite's finest buildings were known as the best players. But nowadays, buildings evolved to another level. Just take a look at what pro building looked like a few seasons ago. Building shifted from just building a wall and a ramp to defend yourself to building Fort Knox. Hey guys, this is Keith Allen Henson, and in this analysis, we're going to be diving into who we think are the best builders currently in Fortnite. We'll assess them based on how effectively they can build in all scenarios, including late game tunneling and various stressful environments. Being a good builder in playgrounds is not the same thing as being a pro builder in real games. We've all had admiration for the playground warriors, and just a few moments later, we then dropped the Omega Lows when they've underperformed in real games. Consistency is the reason top builders perform well in all scenarios. Let us know in the comments section how your list squared off against ours. All right, guys, without wasting too much time, let's get into this. Now, number five might be quite controversial. Best rest assured, he deserves a spot and we'll tell you why. Faze Sway, not too long ago, joined Faze after they picked him up due to his amazing building skills. The boy makes normal games look like a playground. When Sway builds, you'll know it's him because he pulls off these crazy moves nobody dares to do outside of playgrounds. And what's really scary about all this is that he's using a controller. While he doesn't have much competitive experience, he's a great player and has very fast reactions. He makes top builders look like amateurs when he starts building. He went from 250k followers to over a million once he signed with FaZe. And that's not just because he joined FaZe. Sway has talent and we're itching to see how he performs in the future. So who takes the number 4 spot? Alright guys, at number 4 we have Mr. Savage, the 14 year old prodigy from Norway. He's been on the radar of even top pros since he rose to fame. And that's because Mr. Savage has many top five placements in competitive. We've seen his building style being very effective at the pro level as he scores well in all pop-up cups and came in first place during the World Cup warmup. He's low, I tied him 65, he's no shield. I have an angle. Got him, he's dead. Hit him, 20. 22. Break me. I'm gonna drop down a bit and just wall them off. Dead, nice. Dead. Give you one. He's Wait. out of mass. Yeah, let me, let me use bandages first. Yeah, Let's both drop them at the same time. Yeah, okay. Break, two, three, two, one, go. Like Mongrel, Savage relies heavily on flicks as he does for building. One of the really mind boggling things about him is that he's able to control his high sensitivity the way any other player with low sensitivity. I'm sure you've noticed all these times when Mr. Savage shut players down really quickly. His fast reactions with incredibly fast sensitivity make for an explosive performance. Now, into our next spot. Here we have the infamous Jao Mok. In mainstream Fortnite, everybody in the Fortnite community knew who Jao Mok was. He was one of the top builders, but now since everybody has top tier building skills, he seems to have just have been a dying flyer, but that's not the case. Jao Mok is still, as he has always been, one of the fastest builders. Oh, that guy got rocked. Oh, yo, everyone's getting fucked today, boys. Yeah. Oh, that guy. What the hell?
I have no maps! Oh. I need these maps! What I think everybody is missing when it comes to John Mack is that he is such a confident player. To me, it seems like he's always in control of every situation. I remember when Jao Mack openly allowed people to stream snipe him because he was so confident in his building skills. Jao Mack is a master builder, and he still hasn't lost his grip when it comes to the building aspect. We've seen him compete time and time again, and although he hasn't gotten any real good placement, he's consistent. Now I'm sure by now you guys know who's coming in number two. Yep, you guessed right, we have Mongro. Now Mongro is a very distinct type of a player. He's fast, he's aggressive, and he also has the brains. Best player. When we take a look at his accomplishments, he hasn't yet had a chance to perform at any major LAN event because he's too young. But that hasn't stopped Mongrel from impressing us with his effective building. Mongrel uses Flick for building. materials and if you're able to manage your resources you basically have the game on your back pocket this is what we love about fortnite the endless possibilities and every week we see a top fortnite player pulling off something new 
Let me know how your top comparison matched up against ours, and I promise I won't take it personally if you can back it up. Once again, this is Keith Allen Henson, and stay tuned for more videos.